I take the same picture in every store. Like mm -hmm. I hold the yarn like. <gasps> Look at what I have! <laughs> oh my god! This is so, super exciting. You have no idea. Uh, is, I'm so excited to be here. I am so excited that you're here. <laughs> so, I mean, Mace, maybe you picked up on this, but I, I pick out people that I want to interview a lot of times like by their Instagram feed. Really? Yeah, and like oh. you just have such a fun little feed and like energy and like it's love your curated. hair and your face. It's <laughs> and no. um, so yeah, so tell me who you tell us who you are. So I am Cecilia on Instagram, known as Creative Sessy, because I think I'm creative. And so my Instagram, I say it's 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 really curated. People are like, oh, you have this fabulous life. You're doing this. You're doing that. I'm like, I only post what's postable, yeah. right? So you're not gonna see me at home when I'm not feeling well or when I'm just like sleeping in and I do have days where I'm in the pajamas the whole day. Of course. You might see, you know, like my socks and my pajamas as I'm knitting, but you know, everything else is just me just having a fun time with life and just capturing the moments, you know, as, as, as it's going. So yeah. I, I love it, yeah. I love it. So I wanna talk about your creative life, I wanna talk about your knitting life. Cause okay. would you say knitting is a lifestyle for you? Oh my God, it is definitely who I am. It's so much a part of me that you know my job knows it my husband knows it yeah. it really is like you know it's kind of like when you think of the movie sex in the city and they yeah. say that the city is the, the, the fifth girl knitting is like part of me as well it's so, like your third well, arm it's my third arm okay so talk about how you talk about knitting how did you come to knitting oh my your story so my knitting my fiber story my 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 my, my fiber tale yeah is that so my family's from panama so from so so what? so so my mom and my dad and my grandmother are from Panama by way of the islands, by way of Jamaica. Amazing. So my great grandparents moved to Jamaica to work on the canal and so forth. But anyway, I say that because my, my grandmother when she came over she was a seamstress. And so I grew up in a you know, very tactile house. Mm -hmm. Right. So my grandmother was a seamstress. My mom baked wedding cakes. My mom did flower arrangements on, on the side, and she also knew how to, 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 to crochet. So I learned to crochet, I think I probably was about six or seven, and you know, only did back and forth, <laughs> and, and, and circles, that was all I knew. And then I started doing um, the little the pot holders with the latches, and you weaved it through, yes. and you, like, you, you attached it, and then you weaved it the other way, so I love that, and that was my thing. And so, you know, as I got older, I didn't do it any longer. Um, and then my mom, you know, before she passed away, um, I found in a closet a bag of old yarn, like Red Heart yarn mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever. And she had started a project. And so I was like, oh, I really want to do this. And so I put it aside and said that one day I would finish what she started and some of the things my grandmother had started as well. And I ran into a girlfriend of mine on the subway and she was wearing this fabulous crocheted scarf. And this is how you know you're a knitter. I'm like, oh my God. What is that? What? Oh, that's so cute. And yeah, so I'm yeah. studying her, her scarf. And so I'm like, that's double double crochet with no space in between. I think I, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. And so I think I might have went to Michael's or someplace and got some yarn and I practiced the stitch. And that winter, winter 2000, all of my friends got this scarf yeah. in every color. I figured out a hat pattern. Some people got the scarf in the hat. I have a girlfriend who still has hers. Only for me to find out it was the Banana Republic scarf of the season <laughs> that I had completely co-opted <laughs> and was giving it up yeah. as a gift. So yeah. I was like, all right, let me find some of the things to do. And then I started reading that celebrities were knitting. So I, I love your story, you being an actress and, mm -hmm. and, and knitting during the downtime. I'm like, maybe I should try knitting. Mm -hmm. And I was going to Vermont for the weekend. And I said, you know what? I want to knit. So I went to a yarn store in the city. I got a book and some red yarn. And I literally taught myself how to knit that weekend, and like you know, with the little grid, with the like little the grid, and I was like, okay, so what do I do? I and because I knew how to, to to crochet, I didn't even know there was an English or a continental. Right. Because I knew how to crochet, the yarn just naturally went to this hand, mm -hmm. and I was was knitting away. And um, I looked on the Vermont map, and you know, there's like outlets and there's shopping, and on the little map, there's like a yarn store, a little yarn cottage. And so I went to the cottage and she was like, oh, your stitch is twisted. You're knitting backward. And I didn't know that you should learn one. And I don't, I don't even know if there's a, a, a method to how you should learn, but I didn't know to do just a guard or scarf. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, the book said, pro one row, knit one row, pro the other row. And mm -hmm. that's what I did. Mm -hmm. And so she corrected my stitch and the rest is knitting history. I came back and I found um, the yarn company. Yeah. I found, you know, so they're not, um, they're not 
brick and mortar anymore. They're not brick and mortar anymore. Mm -hmm. I found Knit, Knit New York on, on 14th Street, um, uh, the original Stitches East, you know. So then I started going to these yarn stores and that was it. I, you know, met my first fiber friend on a city bus. She was sitting next to me and I was like at the window and she's going through her purse and she pulls out her yarn and I'm like, I knit too. <laughs> <laughs> and we started talking and that was my first fiber friend. Uh -huh. We would meet and we met with other people. Um, and that's kind of how I, I met Shamika. I just love that you met your first fiber friend on the bus. On the bus, she pulled out her knitting. That's such and a New York that, story. That's such a New York story. And of course oh, we nice. became fast friends immediately. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, and then we were, we, they started joining, we joined the group, um, sitting, sitting in New York, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we were going to a music festival for Sit and Knit and I had just started working at L'Oreal. So I was excited for my new job. I had my, my, my new friends and we go to this event and I'm such a novice. I didn't know you should bring a blanket. <laughs> And so I show up in this like white skirt, <laughs> and of course everyone has their you know mat size blanket with no with no room for Cecilia. And so I'm like, well, where do I sit? And Shamika was like, I have room. <laughs> and that was my first time. I was like, really, you don't mind? She's like, no, come sit. Yeah. And so I sat with Shamika. It was my second day of work, and the day either before or after her birthday. And I was like, oh, I just started working at, at, at L'Oreal. Your hair is really pretty. I just happen to have some hair product. Would you like it? <laughs> you know, you're sharing your, your mat with me and it's your birthday and all. Yeah. And that was, oh my God, oh, ten, almost 10 years ago. That you met Shamika? Almost 10 years oh ago. Shamika and I have been friends for almost 10 yes. years. And, you know, I was with friends with her when her hair was this short. <laughs> and, you know, that was, I think that was when Barack Obama was running his first yeah, that's election, his first right. his campaign, right? Yeah. And so Shamika st made stitch markers with his logo. And I was like, oh my God, can you make me a set? She's like, sure, are you gonna be at Rhinebeck? I'm gonna be at Rhinebeck. And we met up and exchanged, you know, for the stitch markers and here we are, you know, trips, Rhinebeck, um, houses, uh, Vogue, yeah. now Edinburgh, like, yeah. you know. That was your latest trip. Law. That was my latest trip. And that was your first time going? That was my first time going to Edinburgh. It was beyond my expectations. Really? It was, I knew it was going to be good. Um, my old manager, who's now my mentor, is, you know, he has family in Edinburgh and he goes often and he's always talking about how wonderful it is. And so I love Europe, period. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, fortunate that my job, I, I get to go to Paris for work. Fancy! You know, right? I, and so, you know, I, and I just love Europe. And so I was like, you know what? Europe and a yarn event. Let's put it together. Yeah. And so, um, following Nappy Knitter, um, uh -huh, yeah. who has amazing things, and so seeing all these people were going to Edinburgh and packing their Edinburgh sweaters and their Edinburgh socks, and I'm like, I need to do that. And Shanika was at the same time thinking the same thing, mm -hmm. and we said it, and we're like, um, we're so going. Yeah. And we're gonna do something else while we're there, and so. The travel agent took care of everything. <gasps> travel agents? They still exist? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm I'm pretty busy and I could do my own travel, but I've had my travel agent now. I got her from a, a mentor. I inherited her from a, a mentor and she's just amazing. So you, you call her up and you're like, you know, I think I want to do X, Y, Z. She's like, mm, no, you're going to do this. You're going to do that. that. Typical New York style. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like well, I reached out to her for my honeymoon. So I've been married for four years to my high school sweetheart. No! Yeah, we, we dated when we were 15 and we broke up and he found me on Facebook. So the same oh, year that, that I met Shamika, I met, reconnected with my high school boyfriend and started a new job. So that was a good year for me. Yeah. And so with my travel agent, my husband was like, oh, I think I want to go to Bali. And I was like, oh, I think I want to go. And I forget where I thought I wanted to go. And she's like, now, nah, you don't have enough time to go to Bali. That's not good. And I, again, I say, I, I go to France, to Paris for work. She goes, you're going to go to Nice. I'm like, but I go to pa France. Mm -hmm. it's not, she goes, it's not the same. You're going to go to Nice. You're going to be there for eight days. Um, you're going to go to Monaco, Cannes, to Saint-Tropez. I'm like, well, I don't want to just be all over the place. <laughs> She's like, no, we're going to have a balanced day. And it was the, what we loved our time. We like, literally we got to Nice and the next day she gave us a Segway tour as a gift. So it was my husband and I and the guy, mm -hmm. and we're segwaying around the, the, the promenade. I'm in a skirt, you know, <laughs> um, and we got, you know, got very familiar with with the, with, with the town. Found a yarn shop, mm -hmm. of, of course, course. <laughs> of course, and it, you know, it was I I could never have planned a yeah. trip that amazing. 
you know, this, like one of my favorite pictures of my husband and I, and I'll show it to you, we're in Monaco mm -hmm. and we're like on the edge of a cliff and there are boats behind us and a castle behind us. And I'm leaning on his back. He's just sitting down and I'm knitting. And we're looking out. It's like when my, it's, it, it sums us up quite perfectly. Yeah. Be, before we, you keep going, because I have like four questions. <laughs> One, I was just interviewing Tannis of Tannis Fiber Arts, and she was talking about a boyfriend she had dated who did not like it when she knit, and it was like a deal breaker for her. So what was that like for your husband? Because you weren't a knitter in high school. Right, no. What no. was that? How did you introduce that into the relationship? Um, you know, I told him that I like to knit, and I think we connected the week of my birthday, right? So, um, and my knitter friends took me out for my birthday. So I was telling him, oh, I just went out with my friends, we were knitting, and he goes, you knit? I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I've got to go to Rhinebeck, I go to Maryland, Sheep and Wool, to Vogue, you know, I don't know if Vogue was happening then, but I named all the things. And he was like, that's kind of cool. And, you know, he was in Charlotte, it was a long distance relationship, you know, so when we met up, I had my knitting, and he just thought it was the most amazing thing that I knit. Um, he's so supportive of it. It's kind of like we were going on vacation. He knows we're going to end up in a yarn shop. Mm -hmm. I'm very mindful of his time, so I don't have him there for hours on end. Yeah. So it's like, okay, let me get this. Like, there's this fabulous picture that we had uh, most recently from um, from Karen from Do You Knit, mm -hmm. and Jerome is sitting on the couch, and this yarn is spilled over him, and I tag, I hashtag them like yarn yarn husband. I, I think saw, I saw. I saw, and so like. He got like 560 likes. Sure. I'm like, who are you? So, you know, he loves it. Um, the first time I took him to Rhinebeck, I made us matching scarves. Jerome. And he's like, so, you know, he's kind of, I think he feels away now because he's, we drove up to Rhinebeck as a couple, maybe two or three times. And the last two times, you know, I went with my girlfriend and we yeah, stayed yeah, yeah. in the house. Mm -hmm. And he kind of was like, well, I kind of like that trip, but you know, he enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, but he's so he's supportive, you know, we, we fly a lot and he goes he loves to watch me knit He finds it relaxing mm -hmm. and I've heard that from people I think yeah. it's so interesting that while I'm doing something that I find very zen and peaceful and you know It's my own way of, of, of connecting um, Other people have said to me watching you knit's really really soothing mm -hmm. and so I, and so he loves it He knows that you know, it's it's like our it's you know it's like our other child. It's like the, yeah. the dog, the kids knitting. It's yeah. part of it all. Um, I have noticed people on the subway staring at me, and I'll look up and they they like the way I'm like that's okay. You can go watch it. And uh, also, there's a book that I read. It's it's not knitting pearls. It's it's by Anne Hood. Anyway, it's essays. I'll I'll find out what it is. I think I've actually re reviewed it on this channel. And one of the essays is about a woman who would always find this friend of hers and sit next to her and watch her. So she's not a knitter. Oh. But like, I think they were maybe moms. Or I, I'm picturing like sitting in an auditorium waiting for children kind of setting. Uh -huh. And she would always seek her out and then be like, okay, I'm here. I'm watching you. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah, and so I don't know if she ever learned or not, but same like Jerome, like she, she liked just being with it. Yeah, you know, um, I've, before doing the job I do now, I've, you know, I've, I've been a recruiter for a number of years, which is why I've been at Brigham Young. Oh yeah! <laughs> I was teasing, I was teasing Christy saying, I've been to Utah, I've been to Brigham Young and did recruiting oh, cool. at, at Brigham Young. So I've been to Brigham Young a couple of times. And so I had a colleague who had anxiety with flying and she was like, I notice whenever I fly with you that I get so lost in watching you knit that I almost forget about my anxiety. Mm -hmm. And that kind of helped me as well. Um, after September 11th, I developed this debilitating fear of flying. Of course you did. Um, and I had to, I would take an Ambien, which you know you probably shouldn't take on a five hour flight because it's not enough time. Mm -hmm. But I found that, you know, between my audiobooks and my knitting, I'm good to go. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, knitting, and I love that yesterday we were talking about um, knitting being so, so as healing and zen mm -hmm. and, you know, having lost my mom and then recently losing my, um, my grandmother, I found that I couldn't read a book. I would try to read and I'd read the same paragraph mm -hmm. over and get and never got anywhere. But I found that I could knit mm -hmm. and I felt like connected mm -hmm. and so I, I totally feel that there's healing in knitting I know that you can like meditate you know I've taught a number of people and you know one friend uh, was a smoker at the time and she said you know I stopped smoking because I was saying to myself okay I'll go smoke a cigarette after this row kind of like the one more row yes. and she found herself doing more rows mm -hmm. and doing less smoking so it would like probably you know increase the time between cigarettes and then 
eliminated that completely. Eliminated. Yeah, and she enjoyed it. So great. Just so you know, we, we actually okay. met the first time last night. I was at Nitty City. This is going to air so great. weeks after. But I presented at Nitty City, which was... You were so awesome. It was, it was scary. like you. It was like your own one-man show. Like, I, 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 I would have paid money. I seriously would have paid money because it was like sketch comedy, <laughs> musical theater, a little bit of acting, a little bit of drama. There's a love story in it. There's a healing story. You're, you're the hero. I mean, we're all we're sitting. Like, I don't know if you noticed. In the beginning, I, I was knitting, and then like I made a mistake, and then I was like, you know what? This is too good. <laughs> And so I put my knitting down and totally forgot to pick it back up again. You're sweet. Because your story was, I, it was just great. So it was just, it was amazing. Well, so we, I enjoyed it. She's referring to a few things that I talked about. One of which was I, I grew up in the Midwest and um, a lot of friends would go to Utah for school, including my husband. He went to Brigham Young University. It's called BYU. And in this house, it's BYU. <laughs> BYU. And, uh, and I watched these girls go to BYU and come back engaged, and I'm like, that is so stupid. And then I went and got engaged after my freshman year of college to someone who had graduated from BYU. BYU so University. BYU came to me. I love it. I love and, it. Uh, so it's, that's what she's talking about. Yeah. So that was one of our many connections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And so in Chicago, I've been to Chicago. Yeah. Love Chicago. Love Chicago. Yeah. I've been to Nina's uh, yarn shop. In a couple is it, of yarn is shop. it when I, I the only one I've been to? I think it was oh. called like Windy Nitty. I think I've been to that one. Yeah, I don't know if it's still that open. one's like. Wait, there's one. Is it Windy? No, there's one that's changed Maybe. their name. Maybe that's what it is. So yeah, no. Maybe I, it's it, the same one. They and they changed the name. the name, so I don't remember the original name. But uh, no, I've been to Nina's. I've been to a couple. Yeah. Um, you I'm, know, again, I'm going to Chicago in August, so if you know so anybody, you should I'm, be on the channel. Yes. Oh my goodness. Let's put our heads yeah, together. Yeah. Because and and anyone because I I'm trying to book and I am not getting a lot of responses back and I don't know if I'm reaching out the wrong way. Okay, so we'll, we'll, so yeah. I have a, I have a bucket list. I really like Lorna's laces. And, oh, uh, nice. I think it's called Knit One Chicago. I think her name is. Allison, like let's take a look. But anyway, there's people out there. So oh, you let should me definitely, because that's you know, being a recruiter, mm -hmm. going to different states, different cities. I've always managed to steal away from the team and go find the yeah. store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so yeah. it's like I, I need to. What I need to do is go back through because I definitely have pictures. I take the same picture in every store. Like mm -hmm. I hold the yarn, like. <laughs> and then the me in the yarn store. But I really need to make a list because yeah. I've been to so many now mm -hmm. that they're starting to like, what yarn store is that? Like mm -hmm. some really stand out. Mm -hmm. And I you know, remember the layout, I remember the people, but I'm like, what was the name? Was that Knit One? Mm -hmm. Was that, you know, Fiber Arts? Or whatever the, the yarn store is. So I want to just keep a good track. Mm -hmm. So when Claire Parks wrote her book, yeah, yeah. I was like, I had that idea. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're traveling through the world. And so I need to I'm I'm thinking, write it. I, can, I might do a different take on it, right? Yeah, because your experiences are different from hers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I like it. My own version of knit wanderlust or yeah. something like that. I mean, not say it so somebody takes my idea. <laughs> so let's talk about what you brought. You want to go to bed? Did, oh we, my cover, goodness. did we cover your story? We covered my story, okay. absolutely. So I wore my yeah, let's talk about that. Ryan get hot in a minute. back sweater. Yeah, we're going to have to lose this. So this was, I wore this in Rhinebeck 2015. It is the Cassis by Thea Coleman. Mm -hmm. And um, in true Rhinebeck. Did you my video? No, I, I don't think you were Shamika. So I was in Europe for oh, last year. Okay, so I, I was very, I mean, I was happy to go for Europe for work, but mm -hmm. sad that I missed mm -hmm. Ryan back. Mm -hmm. So 2015, I wore this sweater oh, and. Oh, yeah, this is last year was 16. 16. That's okay. Sorry, okay. that's okay. And all coming together, all the years are like blurred. The same year. It really happens. It starts to like, when was that again? I was um, at the doctor yesterday and she was asking me the years my children were born, and it was like, you have to think about it. Oh, it was you hard. Have, no, like it's, it's funny. My this we talked about how we both tell stories and we yeah. go off that. So oh, yeah, eventually back. we'll come back. Yeah, to we're this gonna story. get back. To but my grandmother, you know, before she passed away, she was ninety-seven. She knew her phone number. She knew her friends' phone numbers. She knew. I mean, she knew her doctor's phone number. I don't. I, I mean, I have to think about dialing my husband's number. Yeah. I have to like it's actually in. go like this because yeah. I, you don't dial it. Yeah. So I know. I get it. Okay. And so the all ones together. Okay, so Cassis. So Cassis, okay. but, um, and this is Madeline Tosh. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me the color because I don't remember right now. Um, but that was the last year that my husband drove me up, and I li literally was in the car, finishing the sleeves. I was up that night, and I knew I wasn't going to make it. You know, you have that because I got to the point where I'm like, you know, what, let me just do both at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, 
I'll just stop it here. So in my ride back pictures, mm -hmm. this is a three quarter sweater. <laughs> a fabulous three quarter sweater, but a three quarter sweater nonetheless. Mm -hmm. And I didn't finish it until we were going to a Do You Knit event. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh wait. And of course, I had months in between. And of course I wait until the night before yeah. the event to yet again finish the sleeves. And so I'm literally sitting in the extra room at, 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 with, with Karen's um, shop, I think it was her birthday or something, and I'm finishing off my sleeves and I come out and, you know, there's still thread, you know, I haven't even bound, woven in the end. So, but again, it's, it's a fabulous sweater. Yeah, I, I wore okay. it in Edinburgh and I, and I love it. Yeah. And let's talk about your t-shirt. My t-shirt. So um, this is from Thau, Thau T-H-A-U, I mm -hmm. think is how you say her name. And she was posting pictures of this, this feminist knitted club resist mm -hmm. and I have that pin I didn't bring it today is that new is this a new this t-shirt is, is a new t-shirt yeah. this is like my second time wearing it but yeah. I wanted to wear something cool and comfortable so cool. and so I had to have it because I love it mm -hmm. and, and I won't get political but in the, the climate you know everyone yeah. wants to have something and I love how knitters have bound together and fiber artists have mm -hmm. bound together from the pussy hat project to this yeah. and so this is my comfortable sweater yeah it's really cool I love it. So I brought with me the year that we, um, 2015, um, Shamika and Rosie and a few of us, we mm -hmm. made the Hohi oh. Locatelli. Yes, it's Hohi. Hohi. Shamika corrected me. Her three color, um, her three color uh, scarf. I cowl. love this too. Let's and so, yeah, let's put it up. And so I, I did it in, in Madeline Tosh. I'm a big Madeline Tosh. Do you love Madeline Tosh? I do. She's went between Madeline Tosh and, and Malabrigo, and now I love a Flucky. Can I try this on? Absolutely. Absolutely. And Flucky. Did you go to Annie's? Of course I did. Did I miss you? I think went I, in the afternoon? I went in the afternoon. We went in the afternoon. Um, mm, I love this. And it's it's like the perfect sweater. It I mean, is. It's, the cowl it goes with yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I use it I all the time. The and this, I mean, it was so fast. And again, I think we agreed to wear that at Rhinebeck. And I think that was the second thing I was binding off in the car. Yeah. Um, on the way up there to be in our picture. <laughs> this is, I think, a great pattern for anyone who's trying to take their knitting up a notch. Oh yeah. Because yeah. you learn the yarn overs here with the little eyelet. I don't know if you can tell, but there's little yarn overs there. Yeah. And then you learn about striping and sort of the jog. Exactly, exactly. And then this looks kind of like a, sort of some mossy, yeah. it's like some knits and pearls. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, knits or, and pearls with little Oh yeah, pearls. little tiny. With a little, I think there was a knit two together, I think. Oh, I see. To get that, There's a little right? texture there. And then there's a little lace type lace. thing. So, and so you never get bored, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. then and then you have something to, to look forward to, you know. Um, I'm going to start the, well, I'm doing the Find Your Fade. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start the Second Avenue. Is that sure. Hobie? That, no, that is Amy Miller. So oh, yeah, Amy so Miller. Amy, I want to interview her in Chicago. Okay, so we got to make that happen. Amy, yes. I get Amy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, is I love what I... that Gigi had? Um, that's what name? Gigi had yesterday. Like yes. Oh my God. Yeah. First of all, she did that in, in two weeks. We won't even get this. <laughs> like her, between her and Shamika, I don't know who yeah. takes more <laughs> vitamins to power the world. <laughs> but um, this is really great because you have something to look forward to, right? Mm -hmm. And so you, you look forward to the, the, the color changes. And while you're doing it, it just goes so quickly. And it's in the round, right? It's in the round. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love that? I know, seriously. And so it's so perfect. Yeah, I so, love this. Okay. So that's that. Um, I brought um, from Edinburgh. Um, so this is the stripey socks. I think Shamika had hers as well. Again, I'm not really good with weaving in the ends there. Like, <laughs> come on, Cecilia. <laughs> Get better with it that. is a commitment. That's a commitment. So that is from Nappy Knitter under her Madeline Trico name, and this is the yarn from La Bien Ami. Wait, Madeline Trico name? Um, she has like I think so. Nappy Knitter also does. Um, that's her Instagram name okay. and her fiber name, and then under her patterned name, Madeline Trico. Okay, okay. So, so we have to look. So for we both. have to look for both. And so this so is her pattern. That's her pattern. Mm -hmm. That's the yarn. And this is your lobby That's enemy. my lobby enemy. So, so much like Shamika did, well, you know, I and I've been to the store um, in, 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 in Paris before, uh, but I did not buy the, the bag. Let's see the bag. So the bag, the 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 fringe fiber, the fringe feel, like feel bag in yellow. So, and this is how you know dense I am. <laughs> I go to the yarn store, and Amy, who owns the store, mm -hmm. is saying, "Oh, this is exclusive to us." And I missed what she was saying, and I bought the blue bag. <laughs> and then I come home, and a friend of mine's like, "Oh, I like that bag." I'm like, "Let me go online." And online, there's the blue bag. So I'm like, "Does she try to dupe me? Like, what does she mean exclusive to me?" I don't, no, I got it. I got it from my friend. Then I'm like, "Oh, 
she meant the color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, okay, when I get to Enboro, I'm making a beeline to her. Mm -hmm. And I literally got one of the last two bags. She took it off of the little hanger. And so I got the bag, I got the yarn. And then I'm also working on confetti no. socks, which is also a pattern. But don't my socks look more like cousins than sisters? Look at them. It's the same yarn, right? Isn't that interesting? They do not look like sisters. They look like my cousins. Like, so are you doing one from the center? I'm doing one, one from, from the center and one from outside. Uh -huh. And then my leftover stripy sock pink yes. will be my heel. Are you oh, the heel or the top? Are the you top. okay with them being cousins? Well, you know, I'm, I, the, the Virgo anal me is struggling with that. But then okay. I see like my nieces, they, they never wear matching socks. Neither do my so, children. Right? <laughs> like who wears matching socks? It's because they all get eaten by the dryer. No, they, they do it intentionally. Oh. <laughs> they do it intentionally. Check with your daughter. Trust me. Like I've seen them separate socks. Oh my so I'm, I, you know, again, I think it's close enough. But yeah, I think that's bug me too a little bit. It's buggy, I mean, but again, but they're short socks, so they're not going to be they're tall. Show, yeah. So it's not going to show that much. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a cool story. With I my, agree. With my Mika Mika little progress. Mika Mika. Progress. Oh my gosh, look at the progress. Yeah, let's look so at that. Fancy. And it's a sewing machine. Like, Do you sew also? I do not. My, my daughter does. We were all, we were all five years. How old is your daughter? My daughter. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. 30 no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, Wait, yes. How? Yeah, you know how. <laughs> Is she 30? I don't know. I say that all the time. It's like, what are you doing to me? And don't call me mom in public. Because people are like, oh my God, you guys look like sisters. And I'm like, thank you. And she's like. <laughs> I still get that, but it's not going to last long. It, it will. It will. Because you don't know how old she now. You're 15. Old. Yeah. No, so again, by the time she's 20, you're still going to be fabulous. And you're gonna take you're gonna be only five more years. No, you're gonna, uh, don't 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 rush it because I rushed it. I was like, oh my god, when you're 20, I'm gonna be. And I'm like, oh my god, she's 20 and I'm 32. She's 32. Does she knit? She knows how to oh, knit. Oh, you said she sewed. That's why. But she, she sews. So she went okay. to FIT. Um, <gasps> That's cool. Yeah, she's she's uh, she's into visual. She does production work and visual merchandising. And so, you know, I have to say we got it on this. You know, from my grandmother to my mom, and it, we're all very. Yeah, I'm so proud of we her. We love it. I love it. I love that she does her own thing. You know, for yeah. my grandmother's 90th birthday party, she literally made her dress the night before the party. She's like on the floor, just cutting it out. She made a, this Gratian T strap, double biased something something, and I don't know the sewing terms, but she was amazing. I know I couldn't do it. Aww. Yeah, I love that it. That is I so cool. It. Okay, what else? What else did I bring? So I brought what I'm working on now. So I am finding my fade, oh, and so no. this is Hedgehog, this color. and this is, you know, it's so funny, I posted it, and Gigi was like, that's my orange! <laughs> this is so good. So I'm, I'm, it's going really fast as well. Well, because you're at the beginning. Yeah, well, and I know, you know what, I noticed that it's getting longer and longer. Mm -hmm. um, I did have to start it over a couple of times. Right. Um, I did something wonky on my double yarn over mm -hmm. knit two together, mm -hmm. slip slip mm -hmm. knit. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it gets to the point where you get to the middle and it says, you should have like four stitches from the, and I'm like, yeah, I no, have three. <laughs> 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 and then you try to take it out, you try to salvage it. Yeah. And so this this side okay. came out perfect. The, num you know, the numbers, they, mm -hmm. they lined up. Over here, I did something wrong last night, but mm -hmm. I fudged it, mm -hmm. and I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah. Now you have your fade posted on your Instagram, right? I feel I like I've seen do. this. You saw, you saw it when it was a little thong. And so do we know what <laughs> thong? <laughs> it's the fade thong. It's the fade thong. It's a super quick project. That's how everybody knows. And, and, and yeah. What are your other colors? What are you gonna fade into next? Do we know? Do you bring them? I think I have it. I'm gonna fade into another multi mm -hmm. with, with, with colors like this. And it's going to actually end, and I don't know what I was thinking, it's going to end in blue. So kind of like a Mets theme, the Queens, you know, the cool. orange and blue, the Mets. Are you a Mets it's fan? Gonna, my husband is, so. It took me a long time to find my fade. But I found it. I saw that. I love it. Look at your pockets. My pockets. They have to be pink. That is super cute. I love, what size needle did you do that on? Four. It went surprisingly fast. What? what? Fours. Fours. What would you think? Cool. What would you think? I mean, I could tell it's fours. You could tell it's small. 
But it's so pretty. I it love. went by fast because it was in the round. Oh my god, I love it. I you love know, the it. beginning was a little like, okay, I'm what round is that? This is a granny doll. Ah, without 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 sleeves. sleeves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I I. I faded quickly because I wanted a, a lot of pink. I wanted the you pink wanted to be the boobs, right there. let's be honest. That's, okay. Because, you know, there's Good not job. a lot there. Good job. And, <laughs> and I, seriously, when I'm in a locker room with other women, I'm like, <laughs> I find myself staring. I'm like, oh my God, I what love it. I love it. is that body part? Um, <laughs> anyway, this, I, fade, I wanted to fade right away. And so then when I was working on the sleeve, I didn't want, I tried to fade it with color work and it, Mm -hmm. I know, I tried to like bring it up and it didn't work because there was going to be too many ends because I had to keep breaking. Anyway, and then I'm like, okay, let me do all pink. I didn't like that either, so I'm like, forget it. It's a cat sleeve sweater. Just let it go. And it's And it's perfect. fingering, it's so it's going to be fine. I think I can actually wear this spring. Light. You know, you yeah. totally can. So oh. I found my fade. You found oh. your fade. Okay, what's next? Okay, and let's then. Let's talk about this bag. So let's talk about this everything. bag. Oh my God. <gasps> Look yes. at this fabric. Yes. Let me make sure I get this. This yeah. is from, from Ebony Pearl. <clears throat> so I love the oh little, I love the Afro girl. I love she's her. super cute. The, I love her. I love her. She's super, yeah. She's like a little bit of a diva. And so, so in it is the sweater I was supposed to wear at in Edinburgh that I did not finish. So. This is she's we'll she's see right back she's, this year? she's napping. She might make it. To, you know, she'll definitely be around back. I actually have some other ideas for my back, I but um, so yeah. So this is the Audrey two. So yeah. So it has this really cool. Okay, here we go. The top. Okay. This is the top, right? It has this really cool pleat in the back. Mm. And then what's gonna happen now? I'm at the point where at the bottom it's gonna be this <gasps> green so Ooh. and then the sleeves will be blue and then at the end of the sleeves the green will match up to the waist I so I picked I picked her up again I said you know what let me because this was pretty I was going really well um, until I realized that it would not be done while I was in Europe and then Shamik was like I'm starting stripy socks why don't you start too and I'm like okay <laughs> and yeah. so she and off to bed she went off so bed she went. I need to take her out again now but. I'm noticing your colors are all the colors. I'm. I love rainbow. Well, are you drawn to one certain um, thing? Yeah. How do you choose your colors I, normally? I go with whatever you know I'm feeling at the moment. Um, in the beginning, it was a lot of blue. Mm -hmm. Still is. Mm -hmm. So blue is a color I love. Then I went from blue to apple green, mm -hmm. doing a lot of greens, mm -hmm. and then reds. Then I'm like, now you know, I've been knitting long enough that I just try to think of what color don't I have. Yeah. What color would I get the most use out of? Mm -hmm. What's you know? So when picking this, I'm like, you know, what? I, I I like the navy mm -hmm. because I thought this would look nice against denim. Mm -hmm. And like this would make a really good um, you know to go with with jeans or you know uh, under a tank. Um, and so now I over just, a tank or over a tank yeah, over okay. under. That's, there we go back and forth. That's right. um, yeah, so I I just go with the colors that I like. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't have my plucky yarn with me, but I build I build my second avenue or I built my second avenue based on their pink Cecilia yarn, because it's Cecilia. Mm -hmm. And um, and I recently, yesterday, yes it was, the, yeah, um, I took a part in their most recent update. Mm -hmm. And so I got their new color, I got their Narragansett Gray, you which did. is the June. <gasps> that looks so pretty. But yeah, I was like online, like, refresh, 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 refresh. I had it on my iPad, I had it on my iPhone, <laughs> on the, on the, in the Lucky app. Oh. I'm like, Sarah! But um, it went through, and so I got the the gray. I got the it's your party. What what color is that kind of? It's actually a speckled, and if you look at it, it looks like it, it's a different pink, but it looks like the Cecilia pink, mm -hmm. the Princess Phone yellow, which mm -hmm. I also got, mm -hmm. and Narragansett gray. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use That's Cecilia. Gonna be so pretty. The the the, the multicolor, the yellow, the, the the gray, and I'm gonna use um, Morticia, which is like a dark dark charcoal, not quite black. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be so good. So I'm very excited for her. So yeah. yes. So you seem to pick out you. You seem to know the pattern first, and then you get the yarn for it. I'm yes. Now I'm there. Mm -hmm. Right. So in the beginning, I would go to yarn stores and just pick up and figure out what pattern went. But that's like when we're toddlers, right? Like yeah. You and you're learning, like, and you're like, Toy! oh, I make this yarn. Yeah, yeah, and then right? and and then you learn like, oh, you don't have enough to make that. Yes. So what can I make? And so. I have a lot of cows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what One I One skein project. Mm -hmm. One or two, or two or two skeins. And so now I kind of think about what do I want to make? Mm -hmm. And so like my my Ravel BQ is ridiculous. Same. I try to organize it. You know, I try to think about, well, what do I want to do? And, and so, you know, 
I'm kind of not over cows, but I've done so many cows mm -hmm. that it has to be really interesting to, mm -hmm. to pull me in again. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to challenge myself more. So I'm thinking of the sweaters. And so, you know, Thea on Coleman has been great. Um, you know, I did I did Cassis, I did Vodka Gimlet. I'm thinking about doing Dark and Stormy mm -hmm. for Ryan Bat. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about, I might do it in a brown. Yeah. That's, Cause that's the color I don't have. And I have some mm -hmm. really cute brown boots. I was thinking about what are the accessories. Yeah, and what you like, want to wear. What do I wear right? Back, right? What I want to wear. Mm -hmm. And so I think I, I, want, I want to do that. Um, in Edinburgh, I didn't really have a game plan. It was kind of like, well, let me see what moves me. I, I mean, I had my yellow bag plan, of course. Yeah. And then I stumbled upon this company, uh, Midwinter Yarn. And they had this really cute uh, charcoal gray sweater with red hearts. So not quite fair isle, fair isle, mm -hmm. but red hearts around the collar. And so I bought enough yarn to do that. And so now I'm just, you know, what's this? What's the sweater I want to make? Yeah. Or, um, you know, I gift a lot. Yeah, but that was my next question. So do you give stuff away? I so I gift. You know, I have a lot of friends who are having close friends who are having babies, and so. You know, I try to give a blanket. In the beginning, I gave a sweater, and then you know, that was one photo, and then my sweater's in the closet or on this panel. <laughs> I know, and they go out. And I'm like, it. I kind of want you to have it for a while. Yeah. And so I'd rather, you know, either using like Martha Stewart yarn or or, or Cascades, so or something not really like itchy. Mm -hmm. I I make a blanket. Yeah. And so I do at least one blanket a year because that's my friends are still having kids, mm -hmm. and then um, that's my gift of choice to my team that I work with. Mm -hmm. So if I work with, you know, so I try to give to people that I work with. Um, I have my travel bestie who goes with me around the world when my husband's not going. Um, he doesn't knit. She's tried, but it's just not her thing. Yeah. And so what I've done is, you know, we we went we went to Austria to do the Sound of Music tour. I love that um, tour. <laughs> we had such an amazing time. We, we sang. Oh. We were in Marion Platz doing the, you know, <gasps> running through the yes. trees, doing it all. And there it. are so many yarn stores. I wasn't a knitter when I went. Oh my god. So we we did uh we went to to to, to, to where did we go first? We went to Austria, we went to Salzburg, mm -hmm. and then we went to Munich. Mm -hmm. Vienna. We started yeah. in Vienna. Mm -hmm. So I had mapped out a yarn store in, in Vienna, mm -hmm. so she knew we had to go there. And so the point of her is that yeah. wherever she goes with me, I buy yarn and, and I make her something. Yeah, that's so her like reward. She came, like she came with me in Paris, and so I bought her yarn, so I still owe her her cow. She's asking for it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'll get to it. But, um, you know, it's just amazing mm -hmm. the number of yarn stores in Europe. And so what I do now is I'm either buying yarn for, for my husband or, or, or for my daughter, knowing that you know he'll get socks or a cow and a scarf. Or I buy sock yarn. Yeah. Now that I'm into socks, so that way I feel like I've supported that store, mm -hmm. and souvenir. I will make that a souvenir. Mm -hmm. It has a story because mm -hmm. I, I love having a story. Mm -hmm. Like oh, I bought this when we were wherever. Um, and I'm, I don't. I try not to be too ambitious mm -hmm. because I I have yarn in you know I have my grandmother's old suitcases. I have yarn in a suitcase from Italy ten years ago mm -hmm. that I had to have. And I bought, and I'm like, I didn't know what I was gonna do with mm -hmm. it, and so it was just sitting there. And so I tried to think, like, what can I do with it? Mm -hmm. Who can I gift this for? Mm -hmm. um, because you know, there's yarn all over the house. I know, right? It's a problem. Yarn, it's it's art. But it's, it's, Betts it's, and Corkill says it's okay. It's you know, it's in every room. It's it's like I said, it's art. I have yeah. bowls of yarn. I actually have an African bowl with yarn that's in the living room with with a garter stitch or bib stitch and a seed stitch. So if you come to my house, you're like. You want to learn it? Come on, let's, let's, let's yeah. get you going. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so super yeah. cool. It's super cool. Uh, I have nine questions for you, but are there <laughs> any are there any parting thoughts? Did I miss anything? No, you did a really good job. The history, the love of travel and yarn. Great, great. It's pretty much me. And I'm gonna put your Instagram. Do you have Ravelry also? I'm. It makes it really easy. I'm okay. a, a, a creative, obsessy on Instagram and Ravelry. The also. same. Yeah, the same. And I'll put it down below so you can find her because yes. she, well, we didn't talk about your work life that much, but you seem to have a really cool job. Do you want to tell us anything about it? So I work in diversity and inclusion for L'Oreal, so the beauty company. Um, been there be nine years, in a couple of months, a couple of weeks. Awesome. And, you know, I, I love that, you know, I love that my job affords me the ability to travel different places. So I get to go to yarn stores. And I love you know the work that we're doing to support diversity, to build diversity. We believe in you know 
beauty for all, so mm -hmm. everyone is, is, is beautiful. And so if I feel Isn't like, she the best for that? <laughs> Isn't she the best? I love oh, it. I seriously she's a perfect person. I, I love it. And it's funny, you know, one of my favorite like I'd say I, I love that I really believe that I live diversity in my life, right? Yeah. And so I've had some colleagues say, you know, I look at I follow you on Facebook and your friends are diverse. Like everything about you, it's just who I am. Mm -hmm. So authentically who I am is how I live my life. Um, you know, my husband and I were on a cruise last year. And as a knitter, you're waiting on the line to the queue. If you ever went on a cruise to get on the boat, you're queuing up. And so what do you do? You knit. <laughs> and so I'm knitting and there's this woman knitting. I'm like, oh my God, you're knitting, I'm knitting too. And so we talk and then, you know, as the queue goes, we meet again and we end up having a conversation and we share room numbers. She was there with her three sisters. So the four sisters were on a birthday cruise. They're from Denver. They're my sisters now. <laughs> like my husband and I have like the whole, not the whole cruise, but whenever we have like downtime or the at sea days and my husband is napping and he's gonna, you know, he did a lot of napping. I would find my, 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 my sisters, because they're my sisters and we would knit. So, you know, three were knitting, one liked to color. I liked to color, mm -hmm. so I had time with her. They all loved tea. They all mm -hmm. loved, at the time, we were watching Down Abbey. Mm -hmm. So we had so much in common. Yeah. And we started a sister chat, and we talk, and they were like, you need to come to Denver. And my husband was like, we should go to Denver. And we went, and my husband went off for the boys' day with the, hus with the husbands. My sisters and I went to two different yarn stores and tea. And, you know, so, so, so friends were like, so why are you in Denver again? <laughs> like, how did you get to be there? And it's just, it's, it's authentic how our relationship formed. And now, you know, we are a family. Yeah. You know, I, I knitted um, a strip. Their, their dad, who I met, was like, I would like a blanket. I don't have anything. And so the girls and I were like, we should make him something. And so we picked a project that all five of us could do. Uh -huh. And we gift. You know, he's gonna get the gift. Um, best time. One of the sisters for her fortieth birthday. Her husband surprised her. He closed off their loft space. Said he was doing some work in the house, whatever. And on the day of her birthday, he pulls away the tarp and he made her a knitting nook. Mm -hmm. Like this man gets the husband of the year oh. award. I mean, he left no stone unturned. It has, you know, a shelf. It has wine, a, 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 a coffee maker, there's water, um, all of the knitting accoutrements that you could possibly need. He tapped into oh the sisters. Goodness. I mean, it's like amazing, amazing. I'm like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing. So we you know, took a picture in mm -hmm. our, our knitting pajamas mm -hmm. in the knitting nook. I love this. That's cool, that's cool. The Knitters League, they're four girls, uh, actually two are cousins and then they're friends. They have a little podcast um, in, they're in Connecticut and one of the husbands wrote a rap about knitting and recorded it and it's like their intro. Oh my god. Yeah, you have to listen to it. I need to, to see it. it. I, need to, I need to let my husband make up his own verse because back in yeah. the day he thought, he thought it was a rapper book. That's a whole other yeah. story. Yeah, so <laughs> I, that's like another example of like a husband who's like, okay, I'm not sure what's happening here, but, but I'm, I'm going to support you. Yeah. And you know, so and that's cool. important. And so her husband, you know, he, like it's funny, when we went to the one yarn shop, um, they knew of her. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the one with the nook. Your husband was in it. <laughs> and then he gifted all the sisters who had helped gift cards oh. to the yarn store. So we were, you know, like, A again, plus. Troy's amazing. Amazing. Oh my gosh, amazing. that's so cool. Well, so, I mean, I think what we've learned is, and what I felt last night at Nitty City is, you know, this one thing we have in common opens up other things that we have. Exactly. You know, there's other layers to exactly. it. And it just feels like some common ground and like a sense of like safety. One you know, we can be like safety, vulnerable, you know, Absolutely. united exactly. together. So Absolutely. and you know, and it's funny because you know, as if you listen to the media or look at the news, it makes you think that we're more divided mm -hmm. than ever. And maybe in some ways we are divided. But what I always say is that you know, going to Rhinebag or going to Stitch and Pitch. It is the most diverse group of people, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can go to a basketball game, and you can, you know, again, there's diversity there as well. But you all, you know, I think they're more alike than different, right? Mm -hmm. And when you go to Rhinebeck, you know, if whether you spin or you, you crochet or you knit or you knit with small needles or big needles, you just meet a little bit of everyone: mm -hmm. the stay-at-home mom, the work, you know, the dad, the the college kid. And so I just love that that knitting has brought to me this whole new circle of friends. Mm -hmm. Who, you know, including yeah. friends! <laughs> who 
who just are just amazing, creative, talented people yeah. who do other things, mm -hmm. right? right? So you knit and you read, or you knit and you mm -hmm. act, or mm -hmm. Shamika, she knits and does nails. And all the things. Well, <laughs> Shamika does a hundred things, so what else? <laughs> but, you know, it's great yeah. to see that you can be creative, and, you know, I've, I've become a teacher. Mm -hmm. So over the years, I've probably taught at least 50 people. So Children, good. men, you know, I have a knitting circle at work. Actually, when I leave here, I'm going to meet somebody who I taught to knit, who mm -hmm. wants to make the Second Avenue shawl. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go and get her started. I love it. Yeah, I'd rather teach you to knit than make you something. Yes, yes. Because that list is long. Mm -hmm. the, make, the make you something, you'll be waiting for a while. Yeah, totally. But if I teach you, and I love that, you know, I love now with, with, with social media, people that I taught, you know, I've been knitting for 16 years, so 14 years ago, are pulling out things. Mm -hmm. And the two like, oh, I felt like knitting, and so I, I pulled it out. I'm like, that's so cool. Yeah. That I gave you this gift. I taught a man to, to, to fish. Yeah. Yes! Teach <laughs> the man to fish, don't fish for him. Okay, you ready for the questions? Yes. I, they're in my brain. I have to okay. know. Knit or crochet? Knit. Weave or spin? Weave. Cashmere or alpaca? Cashmere. Bulky or fingering? Bulky. Sweater or socks? Socks. Favorite place to knit in public? Airports. Favorite project of all time? Favorite project of all time would have to be my Hohe lemongrass. Okay. And what's on your needles now, which we know. We know. Do you a, have a lot of things three. on my needles. Do you have at least three? I have more? at least three. These seem like the three in rotation. These are the three in rotation. I do have two pair of socks yeah. at home. That I, One is the socks on the plane mm -hmm. that the cable kind of slowed me down, mm -hmm. so I put it down. And then I'm doing this man sock for my husband, and I got to a complicated part of the heel, so I need to pick it up and finish it, because every time he sees me, he's like, you're making socks. What are you doing my socks? <laughs> so I need to just hurry up. You're and like, these are, are yours. Yeah. These are yours. <laughs> we can share. <laughs> so anyway. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Cecilia, so oh, much thank for Thank you coming. for having me, Christy. This was so much fun. So much fun. I hope we can do it again. We, what? You know what? I'm getting ready to go to Europe in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I already mapped out my, my yarn mm -hmm. shops. You are welcome here anytime to show me your haul, to talk about your trips, to talk about projects. I You're welcome it. here anytime. Thank you. This was great. I loved it.